Hi Taurus, it's me G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I'm super excited to speak to all of you this month. Oh my God, this is going to be such an amazing yet tricky, beautiful, loving, spiritual energy that we're going to be experiencing. So for you Taurus, I am excited because I feel like you guys are overcoming a lot of deep stuff, man. Okay, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Overall life and love energy for the month of July 2019. If it doesn't resonate, please do check your moon and your rising, your Jupiter, your Mercury, your Mars, all that good stuff. And even check your Venus planet as well because sometimes that does help. Um, especially your Mercury. And what planet is your Mercury in? It's either going to be the sign before your sign or after your sign. So in your case, it's either going to be... Um, Gemini or is going to be Aries or it could be Mercury. Your Mercury could be in Taurus. Okay. Wow. So let's get started because a few things here, Taurus. Okay. When I was trying to do your cards, like your cards kept jumping. Like there was some moments where I was shuffling and the cards kept jumping. Right. And then there was just one card and I'll show you. Okay, the seat. This is one card that came out, and I was like, this card just keep popping up for a lot of zodiac signs. Like not just yours, but it just an energy that we have to be mindful of or watchful for um, this season. So I was like, okay, Taurus doesn't need that. Why is that coming out? So I picked the card up. I shuffled again, and like after five minutes of um, cards jumping all over the place. Um, that card ended up coming out again when I finally was ready to actually deal with your cards. It came out again. So it definitely is confirmation of either some type of conflict within, okay? Um, and it's, I feel like a lot of you are on a, on a journey right now where you're trying to decide which way to go. Like, should I trust this person? Should I go that route? Should I invest my money? Should I do this? I'm not sure what I should do. Who should I talk to? And then some of you, I feel like you have more than one options and you're just trying to weigh your options. Like you're trying to decide what's better for you um, in an aspect of, especially when it comes to your finances. So let's talk about that for a second. July 2nd, give or take a day, we had the new moon total solar eclipse in Cancer, okay? Then we have around the 7th or 8th of the month of July, we have a Mercury retrograde happening, okay, up until July 31st. But I always tell you guys, give it at least a week or two after Mercury goes retrograde before our energy can be totally clear. Just because Mercury retrograde can cause some type of confusion or miscommunication, um, Mercury retrograde can also cause some type of delays or... Um, it's, I mean, it's a planet that represents our wealth and our communication and how we approach things that really, va that we value. So this season for you, Taurus, is really about, you know, not allowing someone to manipulate you. And it's interesting. I want you guys to check out Capricorn's video. Like if you guys have Capricorn in your birth chart, I want you guys to look in their, um, video because, I kind of told Capricorn pretty much the same thing, like they need to, I just felt like they were kind of holding on to something and not allowing, I said, don't allow people to, you know, convince you to do something that you don't want to do. And the message is pretty much the same for you. So it doesn't really surprise me. I think a lot of earth um, and water signs are going through this phase of doing something that really pleases them, but then they have people in their corner trying to convince them to do something else. And so, this is where it's at, Taurus, okay? Normally, the good thing about you are that you're slow to anger. You are very um, slow to really just everything, like love, <laughs> decisions. Like, you're not the person, the type of person that just jump on board at the first thing you see. So, um, I feel like I, I feel kind of foolish giving you this message. But it's a reason why the universe wanted me to give it to you, okay? Be very cautious about who um, you share your personal information with, okay? Um, 
if you feel like you totally cannot trust them or if you're not sure if you can trust this person, then I would not give them my personal information. And I know that it's kind of complicated, especially if you guys are going through things and you need to sign that contract or something. But during Mercury Retrograde, it's a very complicated time to want to step up and try to sign contracts and to do anything. So I feel like some things are going to move ahead for you, but it probably won't be until like the third week of July, okay? Because the first few weeks of July is going to be like, um, there may be a few headaches at the beginning of July just because the total solar eclipse energy, especially in a new moon and cancer, cancer and Capricorn, you know, they're opposite signs. But Capricorn is your sister sign. So you may feel like this effect of, whoa, you know, like that heaviness, like something isn't right, you know. And if your intuition is speaking to you in that way and letting you know, calm down, reevaluate, let me double check, let me make sure that we book the right room, let me double check the flights, let me, um, let me call up the manager, let me make sure that I do have the day off today. Like, just different type of just little synchronicities that may come to us. And a lot of times we get so busy with life, we don't really pay attention to the symbols. And I'm just as guilty for that. Like, we don't really pay attention to the symbolic meanings of life. Um, because we get so caught up in our physical world that we don't really pay attention to what the Spirit is trying to show us. And for you, Taurus, I feel like if it's not you dealing with some type of self-doubt, you know, about this decision or some options that you have to make. Um, there's a decision, a big decision that you have to make. And this is, um, for a lot of you, it's about life in general. For some of you, it could be about moving. For some of you, it could be about relocating, getting married. It could be something really, really important to you. And although you value what the circumstances are, um... I feel like you are really tapping into, no, let me take my time. Let me make sure that this is the right thing. Like, you have more than one option. And I feel, I just see this here. So the universe is saying, you know, pay attention. Like, monitor yourself closely. Like, how do you um, react when you're around a certain individual? Like, how is your spirit? Like, how do you feel when you're in this particular environment? See, this can be someone at work that is trying to de be deceitful or trying to betray you, or this can be someone very, very close to you um, that is not necessarily trying to betray you, but they could be just very manipulative and they have that, that aura about them. Like they can be very manipulative. Like they'll tell you whatever they think you want to hear. And usually you probably would fall for that, but because you guys been through so much, I feel like you recognize it. And thanks to Mercury going retrograde and cancer, which is a sign that do pretty much like to reminisce about every little thing, right? Mercury going retrograde puts that extra delay on things, slowing things down, allowing us to catch our breath for a second, you know, allowing us to say, okay, I'm always rushing. I'm always busy with life. I'm always trying to be busy and catch up with everybody. Let me calm down and take a moment for what really matters to me. And so that is what I admire about Mercury Retrograde this season, is that it's really allowing us to go deeper. And with it going retrograde in Cancer, that is really going to kind of stir up some emotions, like those first two weeks. So for a lot of you, you may feel like all of a sudden, like you just want to be with your family um, you want to be with close relatives. You might feel like you just want to have fun. You just, you, I just feel like you're like, look, enough. I had enough of work. I've been working and working and working. I just want to relax. I want to enjoy my family. I want to see my friends. I haven't seen my friends in a while. I just want to catch up and do something amazing. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think that that is that a part of you that is appreciating life for what it is like you're literally learning how to just appreciate you know like just simply appreciate so appreciate where you are in that very moment who you are in that moment with okay it doesn't matter even if it's at work you guys are literally going through this phase of just a bunch of gratitude like i just see a lot of you just saying you know what 
I've, I've been working all week. It's time for me to relax. Like, you know, um, and in the midst of you doing that, you will begin to observe and notice who's being real with you and who's not, who's much of a loyal friend and who's not, who's more dedicated to your cause and who's not. Like you will begin to observe and really weigh your options again on what's good and what's not, you know? Do I need to throw this out or do I not? Do I really want to get rid of things? And, you know, I feel like there's going to be people that are trying to get you to let go of something that was, um, that means a lot to you. And they just don't know that, when something is of extreme value to you, it's not that easy for you to just let go of. But for some reason, this person just like wants to try to manipulate you in some way. So just be very cautious about your finances, your name, your, your personal information. So if you have a business, perhaps, you may want to be cautious about that business plan or who you share that business plan with. I would strongly advise you share it with people who are... Um, non-objective like people who um are optimistic basically like more earth signs like a virgo or a taurus or a capricorn someone who's really eager to listen to what you have to say and who won't interrupt you because they they love you and they support you so they're gonna be there for you right like it's so cool to want to call up your fire sign friend like that leo that you can't just stop calling because they're so hilarious or that that Aries or that, you know, that Sagittarius. Like, it's so easy to want to call them up because they literally brighten up your day and you love their energy. But this is not the time for that. You know, this is a time to really surround yourself around things that really, really make your soul happy, that really allow you to connect with yourself, okay? But either way, Taurus, I want to tell you this also, okay? Around the 15th or 16th, well, on the 3rd, let me not skip it, June 3rd, um, we will also have your ruling planet go into Cancer as well. So, and this is happening right before Mercury go retrograde. So, there's going to expect things to be like, um, for you, this is in your fourth house, I believe, of like partnerships, you know, or relationships. So, it makes total sense to me while you will be sitting back observing who's in your corner and who's not. You know, you're going to really be paying attention to who's very supportive and who's not. You're going to be paying attention to that, okay? Um, overall, around the 15th and 16th, we have the full moon, which is another eclipse happening, okay? And that is the eclipse in the full moon of Capricorn. And that is another season, I mean, another week where we're going to be having a lot of realizations, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of weird dreams, things that are popping up to us. So in that week, though, about that, the ending of that second week, you will receive some type of golden opportunity, some type of realization, some type of good news, something that you possibly waited on. Either way, either this particular thing involves a contract, I would say make sure you read it over or get someone that is really good at proofreading or get a lawyer perhaps especially if it involves like children or marriage or anything that extreme like legal work matters definitely get yourself a lawyer okay um have your lawyer read it over because even we think that even when our loved ones provide us with contracts that they will be genuine and as much as that feels good and we would like to believe that you really can't totally just give up yourself because that's family or because that's a friend you can't do that you can this is not the season to be naive so i would say instead of you taking total action this season i would say for you to just literally continue to work on what you've been working on continue to build it and continue to work on your projects or your business plans whatever it is that you got going on but just be patient with yourself, you know? I feel like whatever situation it is that you are going through, it will be handled in a fair and just manner. So even if it is a legal situation or a child support issue or something dealing with the courts or something like that, I don't feel like it's anything that will harm you. I feel like it's just something that you just desperately need to address or to take care of, okay? Um, and again, this can have a lot to do with your, I just see a lot of partnerships or personal situations. So it can definitely be something that really um, is close to you, okay? Um, 
But be very patient with yourself in the process, okay? Don't just give up because you're afraid or because something just don't feel right. Ask questions, you know? It's never a stupid question. Ask questions if you don't understand. So, but other than that, I mean, the full moon of Capricorn is really going to awaken your senses in this a uh, fact of being extra practical, extra methodical, feeling like you have to do this right now or else it's going to be too late. Like, so expect to feel a bit more serious, but love may also feel a bit more serious for you. Like, you may feel in love, but just like, look, I'm in love, but I'm not, I don't want to just be in love. I want to do something with all of this love. And I just feel like you will be communicating that with someone very special this season. So even if you are already coupled up, you still would be in a, a perfect, uh, in a perfect alignment where you will be able to, or at least desire to, want to share your feelings with this individual about whatever it is that is going on in that mind of yours, okay? So other than that, Taurus, this is definitely a season to just be grateful, to observe from a distance, and allow the universe to work in your favor. And then in the month of August, right after that retrograde, like by August 10th, if you decide you want to get married or sign that contract or move into that house or rebuild or renovate or whatever it is that you want to do, then do it. But be careful. Mind your money this season, my love. Do not spend over three or five hundred dollars to remember your retrograde unless it is absolutely necessary, okay? So I love you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for commenting below. Love and light. Okay, thank you guys. I love you. Bye-bye.